Should I buy a grill from eBay? Let's answer that question. the question should you buy a grill from eBay for your truck your car whatever the case is if you've been looking for grills maybe you've been looking at it on eBay finding ones that look like the higher quality ones or the name brand ones and you're like these look very similar in pictures maybe I should just go ahead with this one because it's a fraction of the price so I went ahead and answered that question for you so let's go ahead and take a look at this grill I got it for a hundred dollars big box so I actually opened it already. I don't need to do unboxing video and all that stuff, but I opened this already. Um, it actually was boxed really well, so shout out to that. So I looked at this. I don't expect the highest quality when I actually purchase things on eBay. Sometimes you want to cut a little bit of corners and you're like, you know what, what's the harm? Um, can't be any worse than the factory grill, right? The factory grills that are chrome, that always end up peeling, that are always terrible after a short period of time, you know, they're not always the stylish either. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at this and see if it's decent enough quality for you to run on your truck. That's a big grill. So I'm gonna see if I can get you guys up in here. So it looks nice, you know, it, it does look like it has a nice quality. It looks like a lot of the other, um, you know, more expensive ones that you'll actually find. Um, however, there is a little bit of issues that I am concerned about, but we're gonna go ahead and install it on the truck anyway and uh, see how it goes. So the first thing that I'll show you guys, see if I can find one of these on camera. Um, if you look at the mesh, a lot of it is not attached. Um, you see like a couple spots that are attached. Um, it looks like maybe they they were attached with some poor welds or potentially some epoxy, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's put together decently. You can kind of see down here. I don't know if you guys can really get a good look at that, but I mean, it's it's not the greatest, but it is. You know, if you're looking on the back side, some of the stuff that actually is hidden. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but these little screws right here, these little screws, I don't really trust these all that much, um, but it's in there. So I'm not gonna mess with it. Now, another thing is this plastic, um, I mean, it's nice and glossy. It's nice, it seems a little flimsy, but you know, it's an ABS plastic. Pretty much par for the course if you get an eBay grill. It's, you know, you're gonna get this ABS plastic that seems a little flimsy, you know, probably um, not as high quality as some of the grills that you're gonna find that are name brand, the five, $600 ones, you know, RVP, that kind of stuff. You know, I take a look at it. It's fairly decent. Um, it looks nice. And eventually I'm gonna end up painting the ABS plastic. So so follow the channel. I'm gonna be painting the grill. I think I'm gonna be painting it in maybe a month or two months uh, when I actually fix the, the paint on the side of the bed. Um, so if you guys have seen my previous video, there's a little bit of paint work that needs to be done on the bedsides. Uh, so when I do that and I actually buy the paint, I'm gonna take that off and spray that too. Um, and, you know, hopefully it turns out good. So, you know, these are really simple to install for my truck. Your truck may be a little bit different, but you know, we're gonna go ahead and get it installed and take a look at it and see if it's any good. Cue the time-lapse camera and the music. <laughs>
so hot outside and I fought with those clips way harder than I should. Um, the thing about those clips is they are a little bit flimsy. That should be pretty much fully expected when you're buying something from eBay, Amazon, you know, those no name brand, you know, cheap parts. That's kind of what you should expect. So don't expect it to be perfect, but you know, it did go on. It did install fairly easy because the grill itself is not a difficult install. Um, however, that grill probably was harder to install because of the flimsy clips than a higher quality one. But we got it on. Let's take a look at it. So there it is. Hopefully that helps you guys decide whether or not you wanna just spend the money on a higher quality one, or if you wanna go ahead and get one on eBay. There are a little bit of issues with it. You know, it is gonna be coming back off, so hopefully it comes off easy uh, so I can repaint this um, to match the truck. I think that would look better. The one thing about it, I don't think one of those clips is very happy, but it's on there. I'm okay with it. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be coming back off. So hopefully maybe I can get that clip to be fixed Potentially figure out another way to get it mounted on the bottom. So it's a little bit more steady But you know as of right now the truck is not really drivable. I'm happy with it. I think it looks good I think it adds a, a little bit of flavor that it needs get rid of some of that old chrome get rid of some of that ugly ugly looking stock grill. So There we go if you guys like this video, go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, tell me how much you hated it, tell me how much you love it, tell me how much you spent on your grill, and if you think it was worth it. Thanks, guys.